Okay. Yeah, um, let's see, we had um, the state prescription drug. This one was very interesting in saying that um, Cal the state of California cannot buy a drug for um, higher the price that you know the uh, Department of Affairs or sorry, Department of uh, Veterans, you know, the Veterans yeah. Association, the Veterans Administration, um, you know, paid for it. And that one was actually Bernie Sanders came out very big, you know, against that. Or yeah, sorry, for very, that. For, for that, thank you very much. Because uh, it ended up being voted against, is what I was trying to say. Yeah. It was a no on 61 uh, by 53.7 percent. Um, I voted yes on that because I did not want to see. Because I am, you know, obviously you know, I'm a big veteran supporter. Yeah. And I did not want to see uh, you know, veterans getting screwed more when it comes to prescription drugs like we have with the whole pharmaceutical situation today. I could understand the yes vote on that. I just personally voted no on that. I, 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 oh no yeah, I, I voted no on that because um, I was because I did brain switch on all the yeah. cops. Yeah. And I was and I was like, this is not what it's saying. This is not what's gonna end up happening yeah. in the research. So I was like, nope. Yeah. That was that was my first crop that I knew what I was gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean that one obviously had a big divide but you know ended up being a no on that. Uh, repeal of the death penalty that failed uh, was a 46.1% said yes, 53.9% said no. Um, the, the good thing that I have to say is uh, about that because I at first I was like, okay, well, you know, that's a lot of, of money to still have that happen. However, a lot of that reason is because of the appeals process, yep. and luckily that passed barely though with 50.9%. I was really shocked. I honestly, the only reason I thought that one didn't pass as much, like it still passed, but like yeah. by the small margin. Because when yeah. I, honestly, when I was reading the prop, I had no idea what it was 15,000 votes. That was how close it was. 15, oh my goodness. That's, yeah. We, we don't live in a good state, people. We yeah. don't live in a good state. Like, well, North, if, honestly, if North Cal became a swing state, heck yeah. Like, but, North, North Cal's pretty, you know. It's, yeah. Then it's you have LA, San Diego. Yeah, and that, that's another thing I, I'd, I'd like to bring up with you, you as well before I go on more about props. Since Hillary Clinton did win the popular vote, if it was the other way around, I'd still agree with it as well. But the Electoral College... There's got to be some way that we got to do something about that. I have had my issues with the Electoral College probably since I was 13. Um, actually, no, when I was 12, when Obama got elected in 2008. Um, <laughs> though, the reason Electoral College came was because the government didn't believe that the citizens could make intelligent decisions. Yeah, it was um, actually the Virginia plan back in 1787 was the first time that that actually got brought up. That's how long it is. I could, I never even realized that until today. Oh yeah. That's amazing. My great-grandfather was one of the people that um, signed the bill. That's amazing. Man. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, I'm not a fan of it because I do believe it should be the people's, the people's choice. Um, in this case, this election, I was happy about it. Yeah. Um, but that's because it went my way. Yeah. But in reality standpoint, I don't, I, I think it should be get got rid of, and if it shouldn't, if it's not, then states like California that are worth 55 electoral yeah. votes should be swing states. If we're got like Vermont that's worth like, what is it, three four. or four, yeah. and then you've got states that are like 10 and 12, sure, let, let them have winner take all. Yeah. But Florida, Texas, California, New York. I mean, New York, that is beyond ridiculous. Yeah. They need to be swing states. It's just not fair to the two electors. Yeah, they, they, there definitely needs to be something done about that. I think that that's pretty ridiculous. But I honestly, I don't think it's gonna, anything's going to be done. No, there's not. It's because the, the Republicans yeah. that dominate Texas aren't going to want that change. The Democrats that dominate New York and California aren't going to want that change. The, the thing about Texas, though, that's interesting about this election is usually Republicans will win that by 15 or 20 points. Trump only won that by 10. And he, you know, because Hillary actually, if you, because uh, I was looking at the map earlier, she won all the big cities like San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, El Paso, really? and she won the the bottom border as well because you know that's obviously where the yeah. Latino vote's going to be. Yeah. But everything north, you know, obviously Trump won. So there's a, the divide there, but that actually tells you something about Texas. Um, if next election cycle or you know within eight years if that state ever goes blue, that's something that's very I found very interesting with all the big cities that actually were lit. Honestly, it'll Even only top. it'll only go blue if all of a sudden Trump was like, I love immigrants, bring them all in. <laughs> That's the only way I think that's going to happen, uh, because I just don't see Texans being like, "Woo, Hillary." Yeah. I yeah. don't see that being a yeah. thing. Yeah. I, 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 you know, uh, you know, Bernie actually didn't hasn't written off a run in twenty twenty yet. If he were to run, depending on who the Republican, well, actually, it would be Donald Trump. That'd be that'd be the funny thing. Yeah. It'd be Trump if versus he, if, Bernie, he if he decided to run again um, in twenty twenty, and then that'd be really interesting to see how Texas would go on that. That'd yeah. be very interesting. Um, it just see. depends on how Trump does the next yeah. four years. This one, thank God, that the um, oh no, this one did. Oh, I, <laughs> I just read it wrong. Yeah. The firearms and ammunition. 
The one that is gonna have like Yeah, the, where you tax and, ammo. I get it, or not, it's not taxing. Ammo. The the background, background check part of it, that's fine. I get, that's I fine. get guns, but why ammo? No, the, the background check part of it, like, I was fine with, but then you look at, like, the assault weapon crap about it, the ammo crap about it. I was, It's just yeah. so... I voted many, no on that. I was like, dang it. I voted no as well. It's, it's so many It's the cities, man. It is the cities um, in California. It is. And let me go over these last three here. So we have the, uh, uh, the yeah, the last three left. We have uh, the carryout bags, got voted no on, so that's good. There was going to be a ticket out yeah. tax. So that's good. However, they did vote on the ban on plastic bags. So, at the I same time... I don't get that one. What's the point of that? It, so, that's just going to be, like, paper bags and, like, your own bags you'll have to carry in. Like, I don't... So, we have to, I so we have to have pay to, more? It, well, well, well th that one got voted no against the carryout bags, but the fact is now there's just going to be paper. But it's just, I, it's, it, I don't understand, like, that. Yeah, I mean, I always use paper, to be honest. Yeah. But it's because I actually use paper bags since my mom at the bookstore. But, yeah. I mean, still the fact that I can't get a plastic bag when I'm running to Tower Mart for a candy bar. Yeah. Like, I mean... Yeah, really? it, it's really? and you know I recycle my are we me and my parents we recycle plastic bags as it is so we could you know use them whenever like we need anything you know don't put like uh, uh, recyclables in or something like that you know we recycle so I, I, I don't understand to say you know state that cares so much about recycling you know that's a way you can recycle <laughs> that's actually an excellent point to think about that. <laughs> the way you can recycle and they don't realize that uh, so now the final one which is the biggest one that you all know about. Prop 64, and we're gonna go on this one for, this will be the last part of the video here, so we'll probably take a few minutes to go through. It got voted yes, 56% to 44%, uh, over 100,000 votes more. Now, you voted no, you said, I correct? Did. And I did. And I voted yes, however, I'm regretting it, I'm regretting it, and I should have voted no. Before I say why I regret it, why did you vote no on the prop? Um, so, I don't care, honestly, this is the libertarian to me, probably yeah. I don't care what you do, unless, it, as long as it doesn't take away my rights and affect me, I don't care. Yeah. But the, the legalization of recreational will affect me, whether I do it or not, because it's going to open up stores and locations. People are going to be more open about it in public, where the children are going to have access, um, even though it's still 21, please, okay? Even when it wasn't legalized, high schoolers were getting their hands on it. Right. So it being 21 doesn't matter. Um, personally, I think it's a demoralization of American culture, in my opinion. Whether not the fact that I don't care if you do it or not, it's the fact that it's now it, in it, place. It's in place, yeah. Yeah, and the well, fact that our, the Congress took the time, it's money, to talk about marijuana. There, there was three or four other states to the past. And I don't know about the like, resolution. I think it was Arkansas, Massachusetts, and there was a couple Florida, others, and there was Florida, Florida and there was one Nevada. Other one, yeah. um, so, and Arizona? I think that, that runs it up. No, I think that runs it up. I think you got it. I think it that, was all, that was all of them. But um, I, I'm not, I wouldn't be against it for those reasons per se, um, because I'm still like, kids get old alcohol and stuff like that, and that's all legal. And yeah. I personally, like, I, I don't care about that aspect. The real aspect I'm against it, and why all of you should be against it, any side on the, the aisle that you're on, it, you can, you know, if you have the argument saying that you just don't want to legalize because you want to legalize, then that that's you. But this is the real reason that we. You could be for legalization of marijuana and not want to pass this prop. And let me explain why. And I found four pages of info on this because it was so much regulation. So here's why we should have voted no on this prop. <laughs> let me, I'm just saying we should have voted because I know a lot of you probably did vote yes. We should have voted no. Um, claims, uh, this is the biggest one. Current Prop 215, which was about the medical marijuana, current, current Prop 215 complaint, medical marijuana collectives will have to close down in a few years and be replaced by state licensed businesses. No! So it makes medical marijuana basically harder to get and puts it on basically the uh, pharmaceutical, it's, it just adds to the pharmaceutical So let's just aspect. put more taxes and more money on it and make it harder to get. That's not it too, there's much more on that. Um, so before, if 18 to 20 year olds were to do pot, it would just be a misdemeanor and they wouldn't get any prison time or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, which is reasonable. Yeah, that is reasonable. No, <laughs> 18 to 20 year olds possess, excuse me there, 18 to 20 year olds possessing and or using marijuana can now be a crime punishable by jail. What? Even getting a gram on a person will now be enough for jail time and or excess of Okay, violence. like I get maybe like, if they want to do community service, okay, fine, okay. Seriously, jail time? And fines. Okay. <laughs> they go to the state. <laughs> uh, I, um, 
I mean, I could see if they were driving under the influence. That'd make a little more sense. But if they are sitting it's like just in their hat on them, <laughs> it says possession. It doesn't even say we're doing it. It's oh, amazing. that's fantastic. The taxes that will be made from legalization of pot will not go towards funding schools like it was said or the general public. Instead, they will go to a slush to fund and finance the bureaucracy. They will be created to license and regulate the marijuana industry, recreational and medical. That wait, okay, wait. Hold on. Let me yeah, clarify. Go ahead. If an 18-year-old is using medical marijuana for actual medical reasons, would they be arrested? That I don't understand because the thing is there's so much regulations now just on the medical side of it to the point where that's probably being disputed in and of itself. So oh, fantastic. That, that's, so there's that. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got Thanks. local governments are given the ability to ban cannabis businesses from operating in their city's communities, including medical. Um, they will also have control over any marijuana related activities. So you can say goodbye to all those patient events you may be enjoying or going to now. Um, you will probably not be able to smoke in public like you thought you could. Local governments have power to decide whether people can smoke in a public place or not. And the biggest one out of them all, Prop 64, as much people thought, will not protect you from being fired if you fail a drug test by an employer. So okay. much See, that, stuff. That one, that's, I, that that's one fine. I do agree. That's I do fine. agree that. I'm just saying that that is like one that I that's, think people care about the most. There is so much regulations and taxes put on And to the place, get this, it's not even going to be put into effect until the beginning of 2018. 2018? Yep, the beginning. Because yeah, they have I, to go I through. I thought they it would start like mid 2017. No, they have to go through all the regulations and taxes and all that. It's not going to be started until very late 2017, early 2018. Okay, so um, all you 18-year-olds and younger and 19-year-olds and 20-year-olds, have fun the next two years <laughs> because it's over after that. Uh, this election was not a good election. This election was historic for all of the for wrong sure. reasons. <laughs> Media d does not do its coverage. All I'm going to say is this, no and, journalism. and I will leave on this point right mm. now. Every single person out there, whether you voted for Hillary, Trump, anybody else, this election was about accountability. If you voted for Hillary, you need to take accountability for the fact that your party does not want, wants an establishment candidate and your base does not, and you failed on that aspect. If you voted for Trump, you need to take accountability for every single thing that Donald Trump does these next four years and come out against him when it is something that is not a true conservative value. Let's see if our media will take um, some as well accountability for not covering the true issues and not doing true journalism because this election cycle, it died. Journalism died and now we're going to figure out if we can respond it and put it back to life. This election is about figuring out who we are as Americans, if we truly care about accountability or not, and that is the biggest part I will leave you on. If you like this video, please stay subscribed to the A2Jack YouTube channel. Please like the video. Thank you, Izzy, for coming on, and I will see all you lads later. Peace.